My name is Ndlelende Ngube. I am the co-founder and director of Tikobane Trust, a community organization based here in Tete. We are working with rural communities sharing borders with Wange National Park, one of the largest national park here in Zimbabwe. So we've been working with rural communities since 2016. However, Tikobane was registered in 2018 as a trust and it's a community organization. We work with communities and also other stakeholders that have interest in community development for the communities that are around Wange National Park. Tikobane was established, like I said, in 2016 and formally registered in 2018. We have members that we work with, the communities that we work with. Currently, we are working in the Wange district and Lupane district, those two districts, and we are working in 11 villages in those two districts. So what led us to establish Tikobane was mainly the rural conflicts happening between human and wildlife. So we are here so as to come up with solutions that can promote coexistence between women, humans and wildlife. There's a lot of human and wildlife conflict, poaching happening around here, lack of access to information as communities around Wange National Park are not recognized, only the animals are known. So we are also trying to make the community of Tete have access to information. <laughs> For Ama eight hundred liters of CNZ, forty cages, and then the garlic twenty cages to make the eight hundred liters of the local. We are currently working on a project that we are doing with the Sialwindi village. It started in January this year where we are trying to protect community crops from elephants. In the past, we have seen a lot of elephant human conflict where the elephants come and invade the crops where people grow their crops and with the weather and the climate change happening most of the fields do not have much and when the elephants come and they destroy the crops most of the families are left with nothing only left with little too for their families and many resort to crime and poaching and other wildlife related crimes so we have started to test a repellent that we are working it with at sialwindi village the repellent is a mixture of a lot of ingredients which include chilies, ginger, garlic, neem leaves, and also some eggs and cow dung or some, some of the drums we use elephant dung. Those are the ingredients that we use to come up with our, our repellent. We mix, we, we pound and mix those repellent, the, the ingredients, and we let them to ferment for three weeks. And then after three weeks, we put them in small plastic boxes, and then we make a linear fence up between the the community fields and the forest commission lands where most of the elephants come from. The where the where there's community fields just the 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 border is just a road where there used to be a fence and now there's no fence. So elephants roam freely coming to the to the community fields. So the repellent we started putting the repellent in January and it has been working so wonderful there is no there is not even one elephant that has come across to the to the repellent the repellent is working very well <laughs> Eh, the 
indlovu ziyabuya zizosihlupha obaba bevenga nale ekhaya bebelala khona apha emgwaqweni lelinda bezibuyisele emufa ngale ezinye zibele ulaka ziqine ziziwona njalo sidlelwa nqa kungela muntu sasidlelwa inhlanyelo zethu kodwa le project bathe befika basinika intambo sabo phela labo intambo le basifundisa futhi ukuthi indlovu ingafika itinta intambo le kufanele angidluli la iyafanele ibuye lemu so sa ngeti sana basifundisa lokwenza umuthi ofotshelwe olengayo kulawa amabhodlela la basidingisa la amabhodlela akhona sabuya sawasebenza siwakhipha izikhala zokuthi umuthi lo ufanele ukuphefumule la ngithi ukhiphe umoya ngama ngezikhala lesi nqa uke wanyikinyiswa nje intambo le so indaba yethu safundiswa kwa usazwisisa ukuthi indlovu ingafika ithinta intambo le kunyikinyeke nje khona ukho umoya lo phakathi usuphuma however in about 5 6 kilometers away from where there is our repellent there are other community fields which have seen a lot of elephant coming to invade their crops and this have led to a number of three elephants being shot in a period of two months so that they try to scare the elephants away it's meaning that our repellent is also not saving the community crops but it's also saving the elephants from being from being shot